Welcome back to my channel guys. So a little quick life update. Obviously I disappeared for a couple of months. My last video was I think in June and now we're in November. Life was doing me. The thing about me is that I'm the kind of person where if things are not alright you will see it in my face. I can't fake it. Like I really can't fake it. So now I'm actually much happier. I'm calm now, isn't it? Like I'm back on YouTube. You guys will be seeing much more videos. Today's video is basically gonna be solving dilemmas. I asked you guys to send me dilemmas on Snapchat and I don't think I was even prepared for the amount of dilemmas that I got. But I'm just gonna go through some of them now and I might even do like a part two of this video just because it's that GCA. But this is my personal opinion. I'd love to hear you guys' opinion as well in the comments. If you feel like what I'm saying is wrong and you want to let me know how you guys would have dealt with the situation, please, please, please comment down below. Let me know what you think as well. But some of these are crazy. Okay, so this one says, my best friend is cheating on his girl. Should I tell her? There could be a boy or a girl that's asking this because I, I was going to assume that it was a girl whose best friend is a guy and he's cheating on his girl. But it could be a guy who's saying my best friend who's a guy is cheating on his girl. It's a mixed one because I know some people will say, oh, that's like their business, leave them to sort out their business and you don't want to be like the bearer of bad news. But at the same time, you you would be fake to know that kind of information and not say anything. You kind of have to, you know, regardless, whether boy or girl, you have to always pull up on your friends. Like, you have to bat up your friends sometimes when they do something wrong. Because if you know and you don't say nothing, then you're now like an accomplice. You now know. I know personally of a lot of situations where shit's happened and their friends knew about it. And I'm looking at the friend sideways. I'm thinking, so all them times you're saying hi to me and you're there like, you know, just just be friendly with me you knew what your friend was doing like you knew what your brother was doing it makes me hate even the friend even more because like i've got hate for the guy yes fine but then i hate you even more because you were smiling up in my face knowing what your friend was doing so yes i do think you should tell her because at the end of the day if you have to go out of your way to do that rubbish then you need to be checked you definitely need to be checked so tell her and then let them sort out that's my personal opinion. Another one says, what advice would you give someone that has been in a relationship for six years and has just found out after nine months of breaking up that he's in a relationship? So you've been in a relationship for six years and you've been not going out for nine months, which is like nearly a year. And now he's in a relationship. My first question would be, <laughs> how long is your relationship? How long have they have, how long has your ex now been in a relationship? When did they start talking to the person? How long have they been in a relationship for? Is this person someone that was around when we were talking? Like when you and the guy was talking? Was it... Do you know what I mean? Because there's some girls, yeah, who will come in the form of I'm his friend, I'm his best friend, I'm his childhood friend. Even cousins sometimes they come with that lies, yeah. And they're just like hanging around waiting for you and whoever it is to break up. Like they're literally just waiting for you and whoever to break up so that they can worm their way in. So that's why those would be my questions. And I would definitely feel some type of way. I think the question says, what advice would you give? Personally, if you guys are no longer together, I would say move on and try and find someone else. Because like all these questions that I'm even saying I would want to know, all it's doing is this living rent free in your head. That their situation is now living in your head because you're thinking, who is she? How long has she been around for? You know, like you want to know so much, but then it's like you're not even allowing yourself to be happy and to move on. Like, and that's sad for you, do you know what I mean? So it's like, he's an ex for a reason, you know what I mean? Like, you guys broke up for a reason. Move on. Let that situation lie. If it's a thing where he was cheating on you with this person because of how the timings are a bit too, you know, close or whatever then he will get his own karma. Do you know what I mean? Like that time will come back to him. So just let it go. My friend's baby dad tried it on with me when he knows that me and his girl are really close. That's rude. That's disrespectful. Not only do you not respect your girl because you have a baby with her, but you now kind of don't respect our friendship because you're trying to, what, like if I was to give up or whatever it was, or give in to you if, actually, then I become a bad person now because you, you know, I'm even waffling, but that doesn't, like, I'm just, that's disrespectful, isn't it? That's disrespectful. Because if you're no longer 
with your baby mother there's plenty of girls in the world like don't be now trying to impregnate me so you can have a baby by two friends and then now our kids are cousins but they're also like brothers and sisters but they're also friends don't do that don't do that you in my business don't do that excuse me you in my business yeah don't do that you need to shut that down. You need to tell that guy he needs to relax. You also need to tell your friend, your baby daddy, he's, he's, he's out here, innit? Like, he's, he, you need to put him back on his leash because he's moving mad. That he's moving very mad. I've been with my partner for over five years and we have a baby together, but I don't love him anymore. What do I do? That's sad. That is actually sad because you've been with him for five years, obviously that's a long time, and now you have a baby together, so you've obviously brought life into the world. But my advice for that would be like, you can't ever force feelings. As sad as it is, you can't force feelings. If you're not feeling it, you're not feeling it. A baby will never keep someone on both parts. Like people, people always say, oh, a baby will never keep a man. But a baby will never keep a girl either, you know? A baby will not keep a girl either. Like, I will fully have triplets on bounce. I think definitely you need to sit down with your partner and explain your feelings. You need to kind of like, think within yourself, why is it that you don't love them anymore? Obviously you've had a baby what changed from before if it was before the baby i don't know what changed from before then to now why has your feelings changed what is it that you feel like is missing like try and i don't know like work things out by talking definitely need to communicate you need to communicate your feelings and find out how your partner's feeling as well because it's, it's a sticky situation but you definitely i think communication is key speaking about it is very key to just finding out how you actually feel is it time that you need is it a bit of space that you need is it the fact that maybe because having a kid is also hard work like oh my god milan hard work like sometimes i feel like i have 10 kids and she's just one person so it might have been the pressures of having a child that might have made you feel like this is too much or i can't be in this relationship so do you know what i mean sometimes it might not be the actual relationship that's the issue it might be something else but you think it's something else so i think communication is key to just talking about it and trying to see if that's how you actually feel. My ex keeps trying to contact me. We've been on and off for years and he now has a baby with someone. This is all about babies today. He now has a baby with someone else. I want to move on with my life, but the D is too good. Sis. First of all, he's your ex. You've been on and off for years. That's, that's two. So he's your ex. You've been on and off for years. He has a baby with someone else. And you want to move on. It's like, I feel like, sis, you've answered your own dilemma. Like, don't... First of all, whatever he has that is holding you back is probably demonic, okay? Because there's just so many things in that one sentence or bubble, whatever it is, that's, that's telling me that you need to move on. You even want to move on yourself, but something's holding you back. Pray against that spirit because that is demonic, okay? That is not good for you. And I feel like... If he's now got a whole situation with someone else where he's got a baby with someone else, he's got a connection with someone else. So why don't you sort of separate yourself, start afresh, find someone who's going to be in an actual relationship with you, not like an ex-relationship, but an actual relationship with you, where you can like move on with your life, start something new, something great, something wonderful, you know? I just think going back on yourself is like you will never grow. You're never going to grow from your situation. You're always going to feel like you're going one step forward, ten steps back, one step forward, ten steps back. That's just long. Move on. I was in an abusive relationship for years and now I found a really great guy who loves me so much, but I find it hard to allow him in and it's creating space between us. That's really sad. And I just want to say, I'm so sorry that you was in a real abusive relationship, but I'm also very happy for you now that you're in a better relationship. And I think that goes to show just for anyone else who's watching this, who might be in a relationship that's not going well for you or it might be abusive when please 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 come out of that because there's always better there's always better the, the world doesn't end at that person as much as they might try and get inside your head and tell you rubbish the world does not end at that person i've seen so many people even in my family and even like friends and whatever who have been in relationships that weren't good for them that was literally killing them and now they're in like they either by themselves or in different relationships and they're just flourishing like they look so beautiful like they're really flourishing and i'm sometimes bad relationships can actually kill you without physically killing you it's killing you on the inside and that's worse 
But going back to this, the fact that you're now in a different relationship and you find it hard to allow the person in, I can say like, it's totally understandable in your situation. My best advice for you would be to allow yourself time to heal. Cause that, that might be what it is. You're not allowing someone else in because you feel kind of scared. You feel scared to get back in a situation where you, you just don't want it to go wrong. I think maybe you, you're seeing that this is so good and I don't want to lose this, but I don't want to fully open myself into getting hurt again. And that's totally understandable. Speak with your partner, communicate with them, let them know how you're feeling, but also pray on it. Like allow yourself time to heal. Understand that it's your journey. Do you know what I mean? You've come out of something very traumatic. You're not straight away just going to be, you know, out there again. You're not straight away just going to open yourself up again. So just allow yourself time to heal and be very open with your partner. I think that's the main thing. O open with your partner, speaking with them, letting them know how you feel. And then you're good, sis. I sometimes feel very pressured by my partner into having sex. What do I do? No. I personally feel like if you're going to have sex with your partner, it has to be a two-way street. When it's a one-way street and you don't want to do it, that's a whole different conversation. Do you know what I mean? That that shouldn't be happening. You should never ever like. Do you know what I mean? Like consent should always be had, even if you're married. Like, do you know what I mean? No one should ever feel like they can with you because they can. Do you know what I mean? That's wrong. That is that's like I said. That's a whole other conversation. Like, you should always feel like you want to and they want to but even if you want to and at any point you don't want to you don't want to it should be a no do you get it so you definitely need to speak with your partner and take the necessary steps if it's like if it's getting to a point where you're being forced to then you need to speak to somebody like that's kind of scary a relationship should be more of a you know like a a trust thing you know, you should feel like, okay, I can trust you to do this, I can trust you to do that. You feel comfortable with the person, you feel like you want to, never you have to, because you don't have to. If you need to speak with somebody, like, about it, please do, because you should never feel pressured. It says, my boyfriend's mom and sister don't like me, what do I do? <sighs> I've actually been in that situation myself, where it's like, hella pressure, bruv. The mom is doing face. The sisters also do face. Ah! Already, yeah, I feel like girls, whenever we meet a guy or we're getting to know a guy, you really want his mum to like you because that's his mum. Do you get it? Now, if his sister or if she's older as well and she's now coming to... It's like, ah! You have to walk in the house and hello auntie to the mum and then hello auntie to the sister. Headache for what? Especially if the guys are even treating you right. Get. Some mums, if they don't like you, they don't like you. And if the sisters don't like you as well, it's just long so long I, I don't even know what you should do i think you should pray on it pray on it okay tell the guy maybe see if he can chat to his mum and his sister that's proper headache because i don't even know what to say like it's just an awkward situation i can't even answer that one if the mum and sister don't like you then i don't know for you boy i think you just might have to find a new guy because that's headache so yeah guys that was my dilemmas the ones that you guys sent me i really do appreciate getting these dilemmas guys and like I said, if you feel like you don't agree with any of the things that I said previously, you're more than welcome to comment down below with how you would have dealt with these situations. It's nice to interact with you guys, so please do. I'm going to be bringing out lots more videos for you guys. I've also, not like I've just started it, but I also have a food business, guys, which is called Jessie's Kitchen. Um, I will be doing some cooking stuff on this channel, but I am selling food. So I'll be selling food from the 27th of November and then every other, like every Friday after that. Um, so yeah, check out my Instagram page on that, Jessie's Kitchen. And yeah, make sure you subscribe to my channel, guys. Make sure you thumbs up this video and make sure you comment down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. <laughs>